Hi guys, it's Judy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm bringing you episode number two in my houseplant hospital series. It's a Basically, this is a series where I come across plants that need a little bit of tender love and care and I fix them up on camera and show you guys the, the little steps that I do to take care of the plant and try and nurse it back to health and just show you the real real about houseplant parenting. Like often you'll see videos where you see all the perfect lush plants, but the reality of it is we sometimes get plants that look like this. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. Okay, so here we have a Calathea jungle rose. I was given this for free from a lady who owns a nursery. I went to check out her greenhouse and actually came back with a really sweet little haul which I'll show you guys in another video. But she was very kind to give me this plant. She had a whole bunch of stock that she couldn't sell because they were starting to look a bit sad because it is winter and as you know, Calatheas don't respond very well to the colder weather. So I actually got this plant for free and I thought it would be a perfect candidate to take care of in another houseplant hospital video. It's got a lot of dry, crispy leaves at the bottom here. The leaves itself are quite damaged and just look overall very, very sad. But it does have some new growth points coming through there. So that's why I picked this plant because it still has some hope. It just needs a bit of care and I'm hoping that it'll get better. It probably won't start to do a whole lot right now but hopefully come spring and summer, it'll bounce back. So I'm just gonna get started, I suppose. When I see a plant like this, the first thing that I do is to just remove all the dead leaves. Really cold winter's day, I've got my green tea here. <laughs> Getting rid of all the dead leaves will remove any chance of like a funk growth or bacterial growth or just overall rotting. So I'm just gonna remove all those dead crispy bits here Sometimes they'll pull off easily, you don't really need a pair of scissors, but I didn't really want to risk tearing too much. Actually, they're quite crispy, they come off, they're coming off pretty easily. There we go. There's that little point there which I think has a potential to be new growth, but it looks like, looks like the tip of it is actually kind of rotten. So I might just cut the tip of that off. Hmm, yeah, just cut the tip of that off, and let that do its thing, and just continue to remove all those dead little sheets at the bottom at the base of the plant. Now who knows, this plant might bounce back, it might not, but I'm probably not really going to be able to know straight away until I've had it for a little while. The soil in this is fairly dry as well. I'm going to give it a really good water down in the shower with some warm, well not exactly warm, maybe just like tepid or room temperature water. I'm not going to blast it with cold water straight out of the shower tap because that's just going to shock it even more and potentially just like stunt it forever. <laughs> so there we go. I removed all those little black bits there and it's already starting to look a lot better and now I'm going to have a look at the leaves. So the leaves itself don't look too crash hot and I'm going to remove the worst looking ones. Actually they all look pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to remove maybe most of them. You know, sometimes calatheas, sometimes you can cut them all the way back. Just chop, just chop them back all the way and they'll bounce back. So I'm actually going to do that with this. I might even just take most of the leaves off. I'm going to leave one leaf per stem. So there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five plants within this one pot and I'm going to leave Mm, they just look really bad. I don't know. I don't. The, the reason why you would cut leaves off that look like this, for example, is because they are already dying off. They're not going to bounce back, and because they are dying off, there's not a whole lot of chance for it to actually photosynthesize by absorbing light through its leaves because the leaves are already so damaged and it's just like barely holding on there. But for the sake of not chopping it back all the way completely. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now this, the greenhouse that I went to, or a nurse, greenhouse slash nursery that I went to was outside. So I don't know what kind of pests are in this. Well, most nurseries are outside, aren't they? <laughs> but I don't know exactly what kind of pests are in this. I've kept it separate 
or if it has any pests at all. But I've kept it separate from all my other plants since I've brought it in the house. And this isn't entirely necessary to do, but because I just want to make sure that it's in a good place to regrow completely, I'm just gonna take off the first inch of soil in the pot. And if there's any pests burrowing in that, in that top layer of soil, this is going to remove them and I'm going to replace this soil with some fresh soil. Now, possibly, like, repotting this is an option. Some people might want to repot it, but because it's already so cold and the poor plant's already gone through enough with the cold weather that it's endured, I'm going to not repot it and I'm just probably going to put that off until spring rolls around again. There we go. I've taken off the first top layer of soil. The soil itself actually looks pretty good, but just for the sake of this plant, <laughs> I'm just gonna replace it just because I can. So I've got the Osmocote Indoor um, plant soil mix here. This is what I use for all my plants when I repot any of them. So I'm just gonna take some of that and replace the soil that I removed. There we go. Now I'm gonna pop this plant in the shower and let the shower just do its thing. Calatheas love to be in the shower. And they especially like those little vessels to be filled up with water. Calatheas have those little vessels, like they're designed with little vessels in the middle of their stalks, especially in this place here where it goes up in a V, where the leaf comes out one side and the, and the leaf comes out the other side. Those center bits, they just love to be filled up with water and calatheas just thrive and bounce back with that kind of watering. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it sit in the shower. I'm gonna let the water also run over the leaves and make sure it washes off any dust or potential pests on the leaves. And then I'm gonna give it a really good spray down with some eco oil as well. And this is going to repel any pests or spider mites, especially Calathea are quite prone to spider mites. This is gonna repel any pests that might come and take a hold on this plant. Okay, I don't know if I can say it's looking better already because I'm not gonna be able to tell for another few good weeks yet, I'm sure. But again, it's all a waiting game to see if the love and care that we give our plants actually works <laughs> or if we're doing the right thing. In this case, I'm pretty sure I'm doing the right thing. The thing just needs some light and some warmth. I think a lot of the damage that's happened to this plant is due to the winter time and because this plant was sitting in a greenhouse outside the greenhouse had light but it didn't have a lot of warmth it wasn't very warm in there so it's just the calathea they're quite sensitive to the cold and i guess i will update you guys on this plant in an upcoming houseplant hospital video thank you so much to everybody who watched my first episode in houseplant hospital i revived or did my best to revive a kentia palm after say maybe every five episodes of houseplant hospital i'll do an overall um update video on all five houseplants that i did this care process for and update you guys on their progress is that something that you'd like to see or let me know in the comments if after i do a new plant you'd like to see an update of the last plant let me know if that's how you'd like to see the houseplant updates there were some people who commented on my last video saying that they would like to see an update and i will definitely give you one i just want to know if you'd like the update in like the next episode or in an overall encompassing episode of, of Houseplant Hospital Updates, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'll definitely update you guys on this uh, Calathea Jungle Rose. I don't know, I think it's looking a lot better without the dead bits around the base of the plant. And now that all those dead bits are gone and some of, and most of the dying leaves are gone, it probably will have a lot more space to breathe and absorb the warmth and light as well. So that's a good thing. It's sad, these, there's no coming back for these leaves. Once leaves are damaged, there's, there is no coming back. Um, but it is it does give me hope that there's two brand new leaves coming through right there. And that is a new growth point down there as well. Calatheas are one of those plants where they will grow and multiply from the base. It'll get bushier from the base. So Calatheas are plants that you can't really get propagations from in the terms of like you can't cut them at a node to multiply. They're one of those plants that as the bigger they get, they'll throw out new growth from the absolute base of the plant. And it's one of those plants that you can pull out and separate and that's how you multiply calatheas. 
So that's just a little tip there. If you guys want a full Calathea collection, my collection, and care video, I'm gonna leave those linked in the description box down below so you can check them out. And I go a lot more in depth into the care and needs of the Calathea family. So that's just my little houseplant hospital episode for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below, what is one of your plants right now that aren't doing very well? Let me know, I would love to know. This is the reality of houseplant parenting. They aren't always perfect, and it's up to us to give them the care that they need so they can bounce back. And fingers crossed, this one bounces back. <laughs> I've got hope for it, I really do. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like it if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.